what is going on traders and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome i'm glad to have you on this channel i'll go over key levels and catalysts that i'm focusing on along with a watch list of stock tickers that i may trade in this video i'll be going over my watch list for the trading week of may 22nd 2023 let's get to it First up, the catalyst. We should all be watching the debt ceiling talks this week. Now, the consensus is that a default is low, but the timeline of an agreement may affect the market. On Tuesday, we get the new home sales. Wednesday, we get the FOMC minutes from May. Thursday, we get the initial jobless claims and pending home sales. And we have Fed officials speaking every day this week except Friday. So make a note of these days if you're into day trading, all right? Let's take a look at this week's earnings calendar. This week, we have a nice selection of retail companies reporting, along with a few heavy hitters in big tech. I'll be watching Lowe's, Palo Alto, NVIDIA, Snowflake, Dollar Tree, and Costco. Let's get started with the watch list. First up is Dick Sporting Goods. Founded in 1948, this sporting goods retailer specializes in athletic apparel, equipment, and footwear. As of January 2023, the company operates 728 stores in 47 states. The stores typically feature a broad selection of sporting goods, including gear for team sports like basketball, baseball, soccer, football, and hockey. They also offer equipment and apparel for individual sports such as golf, tennis, running, cycling, camping, hiking, and fishing. Let's take a look at its chart. Now here we have Dick Sporting Goods, ticker symbol DKS pulled up on the daily time frame. Now the company reports earnings before the market opens on Tuesday. And right now we're sitting around 126.50. Now on May 10th, this stock was almost $143. But since then we had a pretty nice sell-off to where we are now around 126.50. So in order for me to consider this bullish, it has to get above 127. And if it does, the first level I'm looking for at the test is the bottom of this gap right here, around 129.50. If it gets in this gap, it can run all the way up to around 135.50. If it gets above that, 138. Above that, 140. All right. And on the bearish side, if Dick Sporting Goods cannot get above 127, I'm looking for it to drop all the way down to around 121. If it can't hold 121, it could end up anywhere in this area, all the way down to around $99.50. So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. Up next is NVIDIA, an American technology company that specializes in designing and manufacturing advanced graphic processing units, also known as GPUs, and their related hardware and software. The company was founded in 1993 and is headquartered in Santa Clara, California. NVIDIA has more than 18,000 employees and is consistently ranked as one of the most innovative companies in the world. In recent years, NVIDIA has been expanding into new markets such as self-driving cars and edge computing and has been recognized for its leadership in these areas. Let's take a look at its chart. All right, so here we have NVIDIA, ticket symbol NVDA, pulled up on the weekly time frame. Now the company reports earnings after the market closes on Wednesday and right now the stock is sitting around $312.50. Now you're not supposed to be biased when it comes to earnings but I'd be highly surprised if this company does not report good numbers. All right, But we're going to be ready for both scenarios. So in order for me to consider this bullish, it has the whole $312.50. And if it does, the first level that I'm looking for at the test is going to be its all time high around $347.50. Now the last time it got this high, it did have a pretty nice sell off all right so be aware of 346.50 if by chance it does get above 346.50 two things to pay attention to there's no point of reference up here for where the new resistance is going to be and also the people that bought in way down here you never know when they're going to decide to take profits all right so be careful or be aware when you're thinking about taking calls or buying shares this high now on the bearish side if NVIDIA cannot hold 312.50, the first level I'm looking for at the test is going to be around 289.50. If it can't hold that, 272.50. If it can't hold that, 262.50. So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. Up next is Snowflake, a cloud-based data warehousing company that offers a highly scalable and flexible platform for storing, processing, and analyzing large volumes of data. It was founded in 2012, and their platform is designed to address the challenges of traditional data warehousing by leveraging the power of cloud computing. 
it allows organizations to store and manage their data in a centralized location, making it easier to access and analyze. Snowflake's architecture separates compute and storage, enabling users to scale each component independently, providing cost-effective and elastic data processing capabilities. Let's take a look at its chart. All right, so here we have Snowflake, ticker symbol SNOW, pulled up on the weekly time frame. Now the company reports earnings after the market closes on Wednesday, and right now the stock is sitting around 177. Now looking at this chart, I'm paying attention to the $184 level. Since it broke beneath it back in April of 2022, it has acted as a very strong resistance for this stock. Even within the last week, when we got to 184, it rejected once again. So in order for me to consider this bullish, Snowflake has to get above 184.25. And if it does, the first level I'm looking for to test is gonna be around 210. Now on the bearish side, if Snowflake cannot get above 184, first level I'm looking for to test is all the way down here around 142.50, all right? So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. Up next is Dollar Tree, a discount variety store chain that operates over 16,000 stores in the United States and Canada. Founded in 1986, the company offers a broad assortment of products across various categories including household items, cleaning supplies, health and beauty products, party supplies, food and snacks, toys, seasonal decorations, and more. One thing of note, that the majority of Dollar Tree's products are private label brands. Let's take a look at its chart. All right, so here we have Dollar Tree, ticker symbol DLTR, pulled up on the weekly time frame. The company reports earnings before the market opens on Thursday, and right now the stock is sitting around $160. Now, in order for me to consider it bullish, it has to hold $160. And if it does, the first level I'm looking for it to test is around $173.50. If it gets above that, I'm looking for it to test its all-time high around $177. Now, on the bearish side, if Dollar Tree cannot hold $160, the first level I'm looking for it to test is all the way down to around $144.50. So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, one last thing I wanted to bring up and it's for those of you who are invested in ChargePoint, one of the providers of EV charging infrastructure and services. Now, last week, this stock hit an all-time low of $7.82. And according to this chart right here, the highest concentration of buyers for ChargePoint is around $12.50. Now, looking at their last earnings, ever since then, to me, it appears that some of these investors are slowly selling off their positions. And if we look left here, there's no support down here to hold this stock up. So this stock has been downtrending since the end of 2020, and it could end up dropping all the way to the point where it could be acquired. So keep that in mind if you're bag holding this one or you're thinking about starting up a position. All right. And that is the end of the video. If you found value, smash that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. I set up a website at blazestocks.com where I post my videos, screenshots of stocks that didn't make the video, along with personal finance articles. So check it out when you get a chance. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, check out the pinned comment in this video for a link to Webull where you can get up to 12 free stocks for signing up and just depositing one penny. Now here's wishing you a prosperous week of trading and until next week, talk to you later.